A target date fund is an investment solution that becomes more conservative over time when it reaches its target end date. So for an example, if you're buying a target fund for your child's RESP and you know that they're going to be going to university in 2025 and you invest in it now, it starts off in mainly equities and as time moves on it becomes more conservative so that the, by the time that you need the funds it's 100% invested in fixed income and readily available for that university education. Somebody who's really looking for a hands-off approach to investing, someone who doesn't have the time or the inclination or the desire to manage their own money, this is an all-in-one solution for them where they have they have a lot of say in terms of how it's set up originally in terms of their risk tolerance and their time horizon, but once that's taken care of, um, it really is a hands-off approach to investing. The money is rebalanced on their behalf and really they don't have anything to worry about except knowing that someone is professionally managing their money 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is probably less appropriate for someone who wants a say in how their money is being managed, someone who really does understand the marketplace and feels a little bit more comfortable in building their portfolio. The second thing that we have to consider is, as these things become more conservative over time, if you're buying wine gearing itself towards retirement, a lot of people may not want 100% fixed income at retirement. They may still need an equity exposure to get enough income to fund their retirement. So. This has to be looked at as something that you invest in for the time being and if your own circumstance changes and something's not right with your investment, you always have to go back and revisit it and say, this is not what I'm looking for anymore and perhaps we'd like to make some changes.